Hi, I'm Mason Gooding, and I play Andrew on Love, Victor. Andrew starts out as the antagonist force to uh, Victor, who's undergoing a lot of discovery about who he is, both sexually and socially in his high school landscape. We start to realize sort of why he is the way he is. He sort of struggles with his own ideas of self-image, which it's funny, if he just spoke to Victor, they probably have that in common, but they're 17. The way that bullies are portrayed, for the longest time, they were these sort of inhumane, villainous entities that would have no ulterior motive aside from just ruining somebody else's day. A lot of times people just treat you differently because they don't necessarily take the effort to get to know you. That's not your fault, it's something they have to deal with themselves. If I look at it empathetically and objectively, the idea that he would feel threatened in his place of comfort, his domain, his high school, it would make sense that he would push back. He's actually quite insecurely trying to belittle Victor because he himself feels that for himself. When you grow up around the industry and the idea of perfection, oftentimes the way that we're represented is a example of perfection that we as humans can't live up to all the time, much less whenever we want. I actually think in a lot of ways Hollywood is taking strides to become better than it was. I always love commending people or entities on taking those steps. Obviously there's a long way to go, but the best place to start is the beginning. Just by telling good stories, television and art create representation. Without experiencing those stories and those types of people, how could you ever have a perception of who they are and how they live? Give people something to think about. That's the goal.